Tyler McGill, who is making his major league debut today. McGill has done great in the minor leagues. He's been really the Mets' best minor league pitcher this year, at least in the high minors, a 335 ERA. He's put up 59 strikeouts in 40 and two-thirds innings between double-A and triple-A, so this will be an opportunity. And on the ground through the shift, and a base hit for Freddie Freeman. That's his first hit of the series. And we'll see McGill pitch out of the stretch for the first time in the majors. One on, one out. Albies hits it out to left center, slicing over his pillar. And that's the second out. Freeman back to first, two away. Freeman runs. The pitch reached for and popped up near second base. It was a changeup. Waiting on it is Lindor. He makes the two hand catch on the infield grass right in front of the second base bag. And that retires the side. So a nice start for Tyler McGill. Kyle Wright in the minors in those eight starts. Triple uh, A Gwinnett was two and six in his starts. Um, he's a guy that has a big arm. Fifth pick in the 2017 draft. His best start was last year here in September. Six and a third, one hit ball. Here is Conforto, who last played on the 16th of May in Tampa Bay. Hurt his hamstring that night, missed 34 games. And Michael drives one down the right field line. That'll go into the corner. Lindor on his way to third. Adrianza fields it. They'll stop Lindor at third base. Conforto back in the lineup. A double his first time up. Boy, that reaction. You can tell how excited he is to be back in the big leagues. The Mets team that has not scored a run in the last 17 innings. Second and third and one out with Pete Alonzo coming up. Now the pitch. Breaking ball in the dirt, skips to the backstop. Here comes Lindor. He scores standing without a throw. Conforto goes to third. Mets take a one to nothing lead on a wild pitch. And now runners are at the corners for Dom Smith. Dom grounds one on the right side. Albies gets the force at second as a run comes home. And it's two nothing New York. Four six fielder's choice for the second out. Dom gets an RBI, is 28th. Hit high in the air to left, but no carry to it. Almonte is under. And after 31 pitches, Kyle Wright allows a pair to New York in the opening inning of game four in Gotham. And that'll bring up A. Ray Adrianza. Payoff pitch to Adrianza. Swing and a bouncing ball to first. Waiting on it is Alonzo. He's got it, trunks to the bag in time. And there are two men away. And William Contreras will be the batter. And one and two to Contreras. McGill deals. Swung on and missed strike three. Side retired, and there is the first big league strikeout for Tyler McGill. And to celebrate, the catcher, James McCann, pumps his fist a little bit as McGill casually walks off the mound. Nothing across, middle of the second. It's the Mets two and the Braves nothing. 1-1 one, one pitch. Guillaume lifts it in the air to center pretty deep, and Ciarte going back at the track, at the fence. He jumps, and he can't hold on. It hit his glove, drops right down in front of him on the warning track, and Ciarte picks it up and hurls it in on one hop to third, stopping at second and holding there with a double is Luis Guillaume. And with two men away, and Guillaume still at second, back to the top of the order, and Jeff McNeil. Hits sharply toward the hole. Base hit! Around third, Guillaume, he'll come in to score. Jeff McNeil finds a hole and drives in a run, and it's 3 0 New York. So now, Francisco Lindor, who, of course, the Mets would love to get going. 2 0 pitch. Swing and a drive deep to right. He might have just done it. There it goes. Home run, Francisco Lindor. His ninth home run of the year, and the Mets have a 5 0 second inning lead. 2 1 to Alonzo. Round ball into the shift, backhanded by Ozzy, pops up, sends one over to Freddie, and there is out number three. Mets sent six to the plate in the first inning. They send seven to the plate in the second inning. The one-two pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Tyler McGill gets his second strikeout, the slider or the cutter as they're calling it here. I guess that one was a slider. They put up slider for that pitch. Three-two pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Tyler McGill. Has retired eight in a row. He has struck out three. It's a one, two, three, third. We'll go to the bottom of the third. Mets five, Atlanta nothing. Josh Tomlin, 36 year old journeyman, is on in long relief for the Braves. I don't know how many times we've seen Tomlin have to pick up the Braves in these kind of games. Fly ball down the right field line, back toward the corner. Andre Anson goes over his head, and that is a fair ball off the wall. And McCann standing at second base with a double. And the 2 2. He finally got him and a couple of strikeouts for McGill 
in tonight's action at the plate. He leads, though, 5-0. Freddie Freeman's on to begin the top of the fourth. 1-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Good pitch by McGill. Slider on the back door as Albee swung through it. Chops softly toward first. Alonzo comes in front of the bag to grab it. Takes it to the base himself to retire Riley. And the inning is over. So Tyler McGill's impressive debut continues. In the meantime here, McGill, after that first inning, Jitters has really pitched beautifully. He's given up only two hits, both to Freddie Freeman. And that brings up the number eight hitter, Ender Enciarte. Two balls, two strikes. Adrianza, a good lead to pitch. And Ender unloads. High in the air to deep right. Did he keep it fair? He did. Ender hits one off the facade of the second deck. And the Braves get back into the game. It's now a 5-2 score. Yeah, that was a no-doubter. Ender knew it. The crowd saluting him as Luis takes the ball, and McGill gets a big ovation as he walks off the mound. But a very credible debut for the 25-year-old right-hander from Long Beach, California. A brave at every base, and Almonte coming up in a spot where they got to throw strikes. Chopper hit to McNeil. He gets the force. Side retire. Runner will move up Riley to third base with nobody out. The 2-2 pitch. Is on the ground. Lindor dives, scrambles, fires, and not in time. Infield hit. It's 5 3, and the tying run comes to the plate. And the 0 2 from Oswald. Swung on and missed strike three. Side retired. He got him with a changeup. And there's a rocket up the middle. Another base hit for Conforto. So off Michael the, on base for the third time in his first game back. And off the lefty, Michael had been struggling against lefties earlier in the year. Mets have two on, nobody out here in the seventh. Straw came out, high fastball. Needed that double play in order to get you out of the inning. One down. McCann one for three in this game with a double. And McCann finds the hole. That's a base hit. Around third, Conforto headed home. In Ciarte's throw, oh. hits the mat. And Conforto scores. And he tacks on a run for New York at 6 to 3. Tying run comes to the plate. Diaz has had one five out save already this year. And it's in there for a call strike three. And so Sandoval down on strikes, two men away. Pitch swinging a high fly ball to left, not too deep. Drifting back McKinney. He's waiting. He makes the one hand catch, and that retires the side. Oh, and the Mets have runners at the corners, one out. And Francisco Lindor coming up. And that's rocketed toward right center. Overcomes in Ciarte. He'll have to play it on a hop, and that'll bring it a run. Mm. Guillaume comes in to score. Lindor with his third RBI of the night. And the Mets pad their lead to 7 to 3. Well, last call for the Braves. They're down four against Edwin Diaz. Remember, he came on in a save situation in the eighth inning. 3 2. Ground ball liner caught. Alonso snags it out of the air. And the Mets win it.